Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to draft a skirt block based on Natalie Bray's instructions from her book titled Dress Pattern Designing. It is simple to draft and can be adjusted to create a straight, standard, or flared skirt block. Check out my Patreon in the description below for a written guide for this tutorial and options for private tutoring in Clo 3D. Let's get started. Before we get started, we need to calculate the following measurements. These measurements are also listed in the description to this video. I've already done some base measurements on my avatar and to see those I'm going to go to the edit measure avatar tool and you can see I have the waist circumference, the hip circumference taken at the fullest part of the hip, the distance between the waist and the hip and then the distance between the hip and the knee. So the first measurement we need to calculate is one fourth of the hip circumference plus 0.5 inches. So that my hip circumference is about 38 inches. I'm going to divide that by four and then add 0.5 inches, which would equal 10 inches. The next measurement is the waist to hip distance. And that is just this distance right here. I'm going to round that to 10.25 inches. The next measurement we need is the waist reduction amount, and that is a proportion of the hip circumference. Depending on the type of skirt block you want to make, that's going to be a different proportion. So if you want to make a straight skirt block, it will be negative 1 30th of the hip circumference. If you want to make a standard skirt block, it's negative 1 20th of the hip circumference. And if you want to do a flared skirt block, it will be negative 1 15th of the hip circumference. So I'm going to do the standard skirt block in this tutorial, which is negative 1 20th of the hip circumference. So that's 38 divided by negative 20 and that equals negative 1.9 inches, which is my waist reduction amount. The next measurement you need is 1 fourth of the waist circumference. So the waist circumference is 24. That is divided by four is six. And then lastly, you just need the hip to knee distance, which is this measurement right here. I'm going to round that to 15.5. All right, with those measurements in mind, we can go ahead and start drafting the skirt block. I'm going to start with the rectangle tool. That's the S hotkey, and it's also right here in the 2D toolbar. If you don't see it, you might need to click down on the icon that's about four down, and then you'll see all these options. It's rectangle, which is, again, the S hotkey. With that tool selected, we can click anywhere in the 2D window to create the front pattern. So when I click in the 2D window, this dialog box pops up. For width, we're going to put in the 1 4th hip circumference plus 0.5 inches, which for me was 10 inches. And then for the height, we're going to put in the waist to hip distance, which is 10.25 inches for me. And that's all we need to input. We can go ahead and click OK. For ease of communication, I'm going to name these points that we just created A, B, C, and D. With that in mind, the next step is to use the fullness line tool, which is up here in the 2D toolbar. It defaults to fullness point, but if you click and hold fullness point, you have the option to choose fullness line. And with the fullness line tool selected, we're just going to click point A, then click point B, that's our fullness line, and then we're going to click point C and then click point D, that's our slash line. And once we've finished that fourth click, this dialog box will automatically open. We're going to leave the direction at start. The fullness line length, we're going to leave that as is, but the distance moved, we're going to use that waist reduction amount, which for me was negative one. 0.9. You want to make sure that this is a negative amount and you'll know if you've did, done it correctly when you see that the hip line, which is C to D, is remaining about the same length, but the waistline, which is A to B, is reducing to a smaller number. Now, if the fullness line length, which is the A to B, is either the same or smaller than your quarter waist circumference measurement, then you will want to go ahead and make this a smaller number. So rather than 1.9, maybe try one negative 1 1.5 until that number is larger than 1 fourth waist circumference. But mine looks fine, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at negative 1.9 and then click OK. Now we have the waistline, we've got the hip line, and we need to make the knee line of the skirt. So to do that, we're going to go to the edit pattern tool, which is the Z hotkey, and is right up here in the 2D toolbar. And we're going to right click line C to D, and then choose 
offset pattern outline. Uh, with that selected, this dialog box will open. For direction, we want it to be extend. For distance, we want to use that hip to knee distance, which for me is 15.5. Number of offsets should be one. You want to make sure you check create internal line because that will keep that hip line there if you want to use it for reference later. And now for side segment type, it defaults to perpendicular. You want to make sure you choose extend because that will make sure that your center front, which is right here, remains straight and that your A to C line is continuing off in a straight line as well. And if that all looks good, you can go ahead and click OK. The new points we just created in that previous step, we're now going to call point E and point F. Now, before we move on, we need to calculate a few more measurements. This is going to be the measurements that we're going to use to make our waist smaller on the side seam, as well as the measurements we're going to use for our front and back darts. So the amount that we're going to make this pattern smaller at the side seam, that calculation is this line length, A to B, minus one quarter of the waist circumference uh, divided by two. So that is eight inches, which is line A to B, minus one quarter of the waist circumference, which is six inches, that equals two inches. And then we divide that number by two to equal one inch. And that is that measurement that we're going to use to reduce the waist at the side seam by. The next measurement is that same number we just made, that one inch, um, then we need to divide it by three, and that will give us the front dart measurement. And then the last measurement we need to calculate is the back dart measurement, which is the front dart measurement times two. So for me, the waist reduction is at the side seam is one inch. The front dart is one inch divided by three, which is 0.33 inches. And then the back dart is that 0.33 times two, which is 0.66 inches. With that in mind, let's go to the add point split line tool, which is the X hotkey. It's right up here in the 2D toolbar. You might have to click down on edit pattern and then go to the very bottom to find it or just use the X hotkey. And with this tool selected, we want to right click on line A, B, but it has to be close to point A. So don't right click over here close to point B, right click over here close to point A. And when you right click, this box will open up and it'll ask you how long you want line one to be. And that we're going to use that first measurement we just calculated, which is that one inch. And go ahead and click OK. And then that point we just created, we're going to call point one. Great, so with that add point split line tool still selected, we want to right click just anywhere on line 1B now. It doesn't matter because when you do, we're just going to choose uniform split, make sure the number of segments is two, and then click okay. And that will give us the position of our darts. Okay, so we just need to delete a few points that we don't need anymore. So I'm going to go to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey and I'm going to click point A and then just hit delete on my keyboard. And then I'm also going to click point D and then hit delete on my keyboard. And when you click point D, it gives you the option. Do you want to delete the point on the internal line or do you want to delete the point on the pattern? And we want to delete the point on the pattern. So let's go ahead and select that and then hit delete on the keyboard. With the edit pattern tool still selected, we now can right click this new line, which is line B to F since we just deleted D. And the whole line should select. If it didn't, then you didn't delete point D properly. Uh, right click that line and then choose unfold symmetric editing with sewing. Great, that's all we need to do on our front before we copy it to our back pattern. So to do that, we're just going to go to the transform pattern tool, which is the A hotkey and up here in the 2D toolbar. We're going to click this whole pattern, make sure the whole thing is selected. And then I'm just going to do control or command C and then control or command V on my keyboard to copy and paste. And then we're going to click anywhere in the 2D window to place the back pattern. So now this is our front pattern. This is our back pattern. Now that we have both of these patterns, we can add our darts. So going to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey, first on the front pattern, we're going to right click this point we made, and then we're going to choose add dart. And then this is that second measurement that we just calculated, the 0.33. 
and then for length for everyone no matter what size shape or whatever you're going to choose six if it doesn't look good you can always change it later so it, I like to choose shape dark cap because I think it looks nice and then go ahead and click OK and then before you move on it's just asking you to confirm the shape of the dark cap and you can do that by pressing enter on the keyboard great those are our front darts so let's go to our back pattern now and find that same exact point and then right click add dart and then choose 0.66 which is that third measurement we just calculated length is going to be six shape dart cap is selected and then go ahead and click ok by the way if you're following along with the written guide that point that we just created into a dart is 0.2 all right, the next step is to sew these patterns together along the side seam. I think the easiest way to do this is to use the free sewing tool. That's the M hotkey, and it's right up here in the 2D toolbar. And we're just going to go ahead and click on point one on the back, and then click on point E on the back, and that's our first sewing line. And then we're gonna click that same line on the front. And notice that I did it on the left side of the back pattern, but I'm doing it on the right side of the front pattern so that I don't have any crossed stitching and this will sew together properly. The last thing that we need to do to these patterns is create a little bit of a curve in this side seam up here so that there's not just kind of a point right here at the hip seam. We want a nice gentle curve from the side seam into the waist seam. Previously, it would have been difficult to match the curve on the back pattern to the curve on the front pattern, but with Close new linked editing feature, we can go ahead and adjust both of those curves at the same time. So to set up that linked editing, we're going to go to the Z hotkey or the edit pattern tool, and I'm going to hold shift so that I can select both the top of this line and the bottom of this line, and then right click, choose link lines and now if i you can see if i hover over other lines it's giving me these imaginary like okay is this how you want me to link it is that how you want me to link it and because we held shift to click two lines over here we're going to have to do the same thing i'm holding shift and then i'm clicking this line right here and then I'm, you know, if you notice, depending on where you're at on this line, it either looks twisted or it looks straight. So wait until it looks straight. And once it looks good, go ahead and with shift still held, click again. And then once it looks good, you can go ahead and let go of shift. And that will prompt it to know that you're done choosing which lines you want to link and it will link them and you can tell they're linked because these new orange linked lines appear by the way if you want to edit your link lines the option is up here in the 2d window it's edit link in the 2d toolbar under edit pattern edit link now the cool thing about this feature is that now when i change one side of it will automatically change the length of the other side however if you add a curve to one side it doesn't really know if you want that other side to be curved or if it, you want it to be longer so to tell clo that you want both sides to be curved and the curves to be the same you need to add a curve point into both lines at the same place so going to the edit curve point tool which is the v hotkey and it's right here in the 2d toolbar we're going to right click uh, line 1c in the back and then just choose uniform split and it will just add a curve point right in the middle there and we're going to do the same thing on what line 1c in the front so uniform split and then choose Okay, so now that we have two curve points, if we grab one curve point and then move it, it will move it the same on the other side. Pretty cool. And I just wanna adjust this curve so that there's a nice smooth line um, coming from the side seam and then it just is gently curving towards the waist. And once you've dressed your avatar, you will be able to see what the curve looks like on their hip. So you can adjust it from there. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and dress our avatar. We're going to go to the Q tool, which is the select move tool in the 3D toolbar. And we're going to choose, um, we're going to press shift F on the keyboard. And you'll notice when that you do that, these arrangement points appear in the avatar. 
all you have to do is click the front pattern and then hover over the arrangement point you that matches where you want to put it click that arrangement point and it goes into place and then we'll do the same in the back going to the back we're going to click the back pattern and place it right there and then we can go ahead and press space bar to simulate and check out our work and it looks pretty good to me this is a very quick way to make a skirt block uh, i recommend trying a few different ratios for that waste reduction amount um, until you get the shape that you like but with that being said I'll create more videos on how to alter this skirt block into other styles. But until then, I thank you for your support and I'm looking forward to working with you in the next video.